Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Dereas back with another tutorial on NLDK and today I'll be talking about another similarity or uh, actually I'll be talking about two similarity uh, scores other than uh, the previous one which was whoop or similarity. So this will be very quick but uh, uh, also I mean it's, it's, it's slightly interesting as well. That's the reason I'm talking about this because the scores are of different ranges as you will be saying. So let's get started. So as usual, uh, open up your Python environment and after that, uh, you got to do from nltk.corpus, import wordnet. And one more thing, you can always uh, use something called import uh, star after from nltk.corpus to import everything. So star means all, so you can use that as well if you're using a lot of, uh, you know, if you're importing a lot of uh, methods and all that. All right, uh, so first of all i would be interested in a, a sin set for cat so let's say i want to find out similarity between cat and dog so what i can do is i can just say cat array is equal to wordnet dot sin set and cat all right so i just uh, need to say sin sets instead of sin set so my bad so the so now we have a cat array and then similarly i will need a sin set for dog so i'll create all the dog arrays uh, i mean I'll, I'll create the dog array which is all the sin sets for dogs so i can check it out uh, i can see that there are a lot of uh, arrays which have dog uh, as a sin set as the base word uh, so I'll be, I'll be choosing the first one over here and also for cat array i can check what we have in store so I, i'll be using the first one so what i'll do is that I'll name these two as uh, variables. So uh, let's say DOI is a dog of interest, uh, which is dog arrays, uh, you know, zeroth element, which is first element with the index zero. And uh, the one, the other one is cat of uh, interest, which is cat arrays, uh, uh, first element. All right, so now we have a dog array and we have a cat, uh, sorry, we have a dog sin set as well as a cat sin set. Now we can do everything um, uh, when it comes to similarity with these two things, uh, these two sin sets. So if you have seen the previous video, uh, you know how to quickly find our Wubama similarity. So how do you do that? Is this uh, type out uh, DOI followed by uh, WP underscore similarity and then COI. All right, so you, you get a score of 0 0.857, which means 85% similarity exists. So even though cats and dogs are completely different, we find that there is some similarity over here according to whatever uh, text has been used for training or whatever lexical uh, stuff is there. I'm sorry, it's not the text that is trained, but uh, whatever lexical, uh, whatever uh, lexicons are used, you know, which is WordNet. Uh, so it has a lot of uh, relations and trees between words. So Wupamer is just uh, one way of sim uh, finding out the similarity. Uh, it depends on a few factors. So I discussed that in the previous video, but we'll be talking about something called path similarity and uh, the other one, which is LCH similarity. So path similarity is simply, uh, it, it depends on the number of nodes in the shortest uh, path between uh, you know, uh, two concepts. So by concepts, we mean uh, two words over here. So let's see how we can use it. Instead of WP underscore similarity, what we do is we use path underscore similarity. So we have the uh, DOI and underscore path and uh, similarity, COI. We see that it is only 0.2. So the range is, uh, we can find out the highest range. So let's see what we get. All right, so we see that when I compare a dog with dog itself, I get one, which means that one is the maximum and it is actually max, the maximum value because one actually uh, means that one is the shortest path between dog and dog again. So that is why we end up with a one as the maximum value. Similarly, what, uh, we can do something called LCH similarity. So LCH stands for uh, Lee Kok Shodorov. So there were two people uh, involved. So Lee Kok Chodoro, uh similarity. So it is nothing but LCH. So what we do was, oops. 
So what we do is we say doi dot lch underscore similarity and we compare it with our cat. So let it will take some time. All right, so as you can see over here, we have a value of 2.02, but we don't know the range yet. So let's compare it with doi itself. So let's see. Okay, okay. so we are getting something called 3.6375 and so on. So that seems to be the maximum value or uh, we can say that it is the maximum because DOI is being compared with itself, the same synset. So LCH similarity basically depends on both the length of the path between two concepts as well as, you know, the maximum depth of taxonomy. So that is for some other day. So it, it involves two factors and it, it also involves logarithmic uh, uh, a logarithmic, uh, you know, uh, a logarithmic uh, equation, which uh, which has length and the the depth that I just spoke about. So because of which we are getting these values. So we can also do a uh, similarity LCH similarity with DOI, and we see that we get the same two point zero two. But when I do it with COI, I, oops. I get 3.6375 again. So I guess that's about it for this video, guys. So I just wanted to show you how uh, there exist uh, other similarities as well. These three similarities uh, are quite used uh, in today's, uh, you know, analysis between uh, analysis and relationship, you know, uh, analysis on the relationship between two words, how similar they are and all. All right, uh, so that's it for this video, guys. I'll be back with another video, another tutorial. And uh, until then, just stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for updates. And also like this video if you liked it. And also share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.